Yes, sir. Okay, meeting call to order. Roll call. Dr. Robinson? Here. Mr. West? Here. Dr. Buck? Here. Mrs. Ware? Here. Mr. James? Here. All the present. The adoption of the. Anything need to be changed off the agenda at this time or added? If not, can we get adoption of the agenda? I move that we adopt the agenda as per second. Is there movement second? All in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. We're public comment. We don't have any. Recognition and presentation. Mr. Jack, members of the board, 5.1 is the monthly data report that Natchez High School is required to submit to the board uh, because of their um, uh, status, federal uh, uh, TSI status, technical support status. Um, and so nothing has changed because the uh, from the last report because there is no new data. So we're just presenting that for the board's attention as part of the board's finding. Okay. Do we need to take action on it? No, sir. Now we have approval of May 21st, 2024 special call meeting. Approval of May 21st, 2024 regular meeting minute. And approval of May 31st, 2024 special call meeting. And approval of June 12th, 2024 special call meeting. And approval of June 12th, 2024 board retreat minute. I move that we approve 6.1, 6.2, 6.3, 6.4, and 6.5. Second. It's been moved and second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. It passes 5 0. Now we're at Consent Island. Consent Island, anything on there that needs to be changed to action item is not can get approved. I move that we approve the Consent Island. Second. Okay, it's been moved and second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. It passes 5 0. Okay, 811. And the salary schedule is on the also. The salary schedule is there. Uh, there's just annually we present that salary schedule for all of the positions in the district uh, uh, that includes our um, allocations from the state along with uh, local supplements for teachers as well as all of other positions. So it's the recommendation that the board approve that salary schedule. Right, but I was just asking for you because yes, you sir. indicated yes, sir. everything except the salary. So I'm planning the yes, salary will be a part of it. Right. Action that you have yes, to take. Let me ask one thing regarding the salary schedule. Has anything, has there been any kind of major change in the salary schedule? No, sir. Okay. No, sir. All right. I'll we'll we'll offer a motion that we would approve item number 8.1. Second. We've been moving second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Pass it 5-0. 8.2, approve opening bid for the <coughs> section lane. All right, we have Mr. Bird and Mr. Baker. Right. Mr. Bird, Mr. Baker. Mr. Bird, Mr. Baker. Mr. Baker. Mr. Baker. Mr. Baker. Mr. Baker. Mr. Baker. Mr. So we're going we're gonna to call section 11, Township 3 North, Range 5 West. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Anyone being on section 11? Anyone else being on section 11? How you doing? How you do, sir? Pretty good. Uh, are you being? Yes, sir. All right. We got one bid uh, on section 11, Township 3 North, range 5 West. All right. So this section consists of 438 acres. Uh, the bid is $30.50 per acre for an annual uh, rent of $13,359.
and there is a certified check enclosed for the first year's rent. So and that's the only bid we have? That is the only bid we have. Are they the present lease seat? Uh, He's right. He's right. right. I mean, I think he is the president. Is he current. the current? Yes, leader? sir. Yeah. Yeah. What was is, that name? Is that within? Sorry. What was the last name? Ben Hopkins. Pandela Hunting Club. Hmm. Let me ask you another question. Is that equal to what? That there were last year, or is it equal? Well, there were minimum bids. Uh, uh, Published request and it does make the minimum. Okay. Yeah, so we'll, we accept mm -hmm. what it only be. Is that right? Yeah. Without one. Call for us. Oh, you're going to call for us? Yeah. And you said, I 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 uh, uh, all right, five, zero. Uh -huh. Thank you. Thank you. Let's move on to section 29, Township 5 North Range 3 West. One bid in hand. All right. Uh, we've got one bid. Uh, for section 29, uh, Township 5 North 3 West. All right. This is a track that consists of, Scott, Scott Lindsay is the president leaseholder, I think, is that right? Yes, sir. All right, this track consists of 752 acres. The bid is for $28 per acre for an annual rent of $21,056. You mean $26? $21,056. E. E, yeah. Got a official certified check for the first year's rent, so it's Impossible. Did it met the minimum requirement? Yes. I'm hoping for the second to be. I second. Okay, you <coughs> removed and separate. All in favor? Uh -huh. Aye. Aye. It passes 5 0. Thank you all. As usual, we'll get the leases put together and get in touch with you. Thanks, sir. For sure. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Section 14. Section 14. All right. We have one bid for from Lake Mary Planting Company. Lake Lake Mary Planting Company. Section 14. Township 3 North, Range 4 West. Yes. <clears throat> 200, this is 223 acres. <clears throat> right. One bid. Uh, for the 223 acres is $36.24, uh, which totals an annual rent of $8,081.52. Uh, there's cashier's check made by the district in that sum. So this is the present? Uh, this, this, this is the present, let's say, yes. Okay. I'm going to put a check instead of being Second. It's been moved and seconded. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Pass it by the All right. So the next one we'll move into uh, has two bidders. And uh, the next two in order 
start with section 16. So they got to listen here. We're going to pull section 16, 5 north, range 1 west, 442 acres. We have two bids here. Y'all all together or? No, sir. I'm, I'm along. Okay. They, they, yeah. They're together. I'm along. Gotcha. So we got two bids uh, on section 16, 5 north, 1 west, 442 acres. The first one is from Joel Strahan. Strahan submitted his bid uh, at $15.09 for a total eight, uh, annual payment of $66.71. Uh-uh. Nope. $671. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you say it. <laughs> <laughs> I have a All right. Yes, certified check. Second bid is from uh, Mr. Forbes. Mr. Forbes uh, bids $25 even per acre for uh, a total annual rent of eleven thousand fifty one dollars seventy five cents and there's a certified check favor of the district <coughs> so I have a question Lisi Yes, I'm are you the, are you, sorry? Are you the present lessee? I am. Yes. Okay. He's the. He's also the high bidder. He's also the high no. bidder. No. No. He's the high bidder. I'm sorry. Uh, Mr. Strahan's the high bidder. No. Forbes. Forbes. I got myself confused. Oh, uh, Strahan. So, uh, Mr. Forbes, uh, raise your hand. Which one? All right. So you're the high bidder and the current lessee. Is that right? No. 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 All right, so Mr. Strahan, uh, Mr. Forbes outbid you, uh, but you have the right to match that bid uh, at $25 uh, per acre for annual rental payment of $11,051.75. Okay. Unfortunately, you got to make your decision here and now. Question: How can it be paid? Can I write a check? Can it be cash? Balance difference? The the I have uh, to do this again. Right. Yeah. Another cashier's check? No. The, the the district within the week, if you'll bring the additional funds that make make the difference up, mm -hmm. that they'll accept that. Your lease probably won't be ready by Friday. But we'll get it ready, and uh, you can sign it. But you can get the funds here in a regular check. Okay, fair enough. So the other, do, do you understand what the law is? Yes, sir. that allows this to take place. Right. Yes, sir. and so the bidding's done. Pardon? The bidding is done. Though. Yes, since he he is the leasee. Yes, sir. and so he had the option of matching. Right, but I don't you have the right. option to go more, right? No, you don't. Yes. Right, Bruce? You don't, but, but because there may be instances later that there will be an option. But to have an option, there must be three people that submitted a bid. Okay. In this case, there are only two, so we can't, yes. board can't call for an option. So yes. it does happen, but not in this instance. Yes. All right, that's I'll, I'll offer a motion that we would accept the uh, bid of Mr. Well, the, ma the matching the matching bid from Mr. Mr. From Mr. Stray 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 Hand. Hand. Is, uh, for $11,051.75. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, I just said that. <coughs> yes, sir. Is the been movement in seven all in favor? Aye. Passed as five zero. Thank you all. Okay. All right, thank you. I would, we're going to return your check to you yes. right now, or today. All right, so another section 16 township four north range four west. Yeah, he's, he's through. Breaking his back I just need it off this. Okay. One. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's see if you want. I know. No. I know. I don't 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 He's gonna bring his his balance. What was the total? Excuse me, eleven thousand. Eleven thousand fifty one dollars and seventy five cents. Thank you. I can go with you. Minus one. Yeah. 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 We don't want to put you through that. <laughs> <laughs> check. Right, okay. Yes, we keep okay. keep the check for the amount you submitted. You just have to bring the balance. Perfect. We don't right. want to overwork you, Don. All right, sir. So, <laughs> So we now have a 220 acre track, uh, section yeah, 60. Yeah, I'll do it. She was one of the big guys. Yeah. No. no. Okay. You're good. All right. Nice buddy. Section 16, Township 4 North Range, 4 West, 220 acres. I've got two bids. Do I have uh, two bidders or? Both, uh, of course. All right, uh, Lake Mary Planning is the current lessee. All right. This is the bid of Lake Mary Planning Company. <laughs> Makes a bid on 220 acres of $30 per acre for an annual uh, rent of $6,600. And there's a, a, a certified check and the appropriate amount made payable to the school district. The second uh, bid is from Mr. McManus. McManus uh, bids uh, $45.91 on the 220 acres for an annual rental payment of $10,100 per year. Right. What was the first? 6600 <coughs> Mr. McManus's check is in proper form and in proper amount. Uh, you see present, please. Uh, bigger. Uh, Lake Mary Planning is the current lessee. They were the lower bidder at $30. They have the option to uh, meet Mr. McManus's bid if they choose to. Yeah. So uh, they confirm that they're going to match that bid, so it'll go to Lake Mary Planning at $10,100. Okay. 
It's $45.91 per acre. And I'm going to return your check to you. I'll offer the motion that we would accept the bid of Lake Mary. 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 Lake so, Bill, you clear on what we'll, what we'll do? You just make up the difference and then we'll get the lease to you. Are you talking to me? Yeah. I'm George. George. Uh, yeah. Yes. Yeah, so we'll I, I, uh, I can do a personal check now for the difference so I can send a certified at the end of the week. What would you prefer? Just, just make up the difference uh, within the week and then with a with, uh, certified check if that's convenient. If not, you yeah. Uh, company check will be fine, and then we'll get the lease to you sometime. Is personal check okay? Or no? Yeah. Okay. But I, I, I'm with the rich one, so I have to come back, but it would be easier to just drive the truck and get one now, right? Do it or it help yourself. Okay. Absolutely. Right. Sounds like a good plan. Tony, you want to go get it? Yeah, we'll go get it. We're doing cash next time. We're going to take it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. 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 This is the last of the two two bid tracks. It's uh, section six, township eight north, range two west for 90 acres, 90.15 acres. Mr. Goday is the uh, current lessee, right? Yes, sir. I have a bill from Mr. Leonard. All right. Let Mr. Leonard, L E O N A R D. Bid from uh, Mr. Godet is in the amount of the minimum bid thirteen dollars for ninety eight point one five acres. Total is uh, one thousand one hundred seventy one dollars and ninety five cents for an annual rent. There's a check in proper form for the first year's rent made payable to the school district. This is Mr. Leonard's view. bid is uh, for the 90.15 acres um, $19.75 per acre for a total annual rent of Check, not a cashier or a bank check, uh, which you know technically means that he didn't comply with the bid instructions. And 
really aren't supposed to consider his uh, his view. But um, I think that's what the statute says. We only have we have two bids. We have two bids on this one. One of which is a non-qualifying bid because of the check payment. And that's what the statute says. Mm -hmm. and so the RP is not adhered to. So again, yeah, I'm afraid so. I, so it would be illegal for us to accept. <coughs> I mean, I, I, I hate to pass on the money. So Pardon? he's not from the lessee. Is it not the current lessee? No, it is not from the current lessee. Uh, this this is a completing year from somebody new. new. Okay. So, I'm sorry. Is that how you see it? Mm -hmm. I will slide up the motion, right? Yeah. I'll offer a motion that we would accept the yeah. bid that's in compliance with the law. All right, sir, that's... Uh, a bid from David Godet for thirteen dollars per acre total rent of one thousand one hundred seventy-one dollars and ninety-five cents. Seven. You can move the seven all in favor. Aye. 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 Oh, it's just me on here? Yeah, yeah. All right, thank you. Thank you. Thank you all. Thank you. So there are five uh, bids submitted on this track. Has 157.7 acres. Section 12. Okay. I want to make sure that everybody understands that we have five bids. We, we don't know that yet. I thought you said you had five. We do have five, but the question is whether it will be up to y'all. Oh, oh. Well, if there are five bids and the highest bid, I thought we had to. Uh, you don't have to. No, you don't have to. Oh, you don't have to? Okay. We can just accept the highest bid. Or you can uh, conduct an auction. Right, that's what I'm saying. So, let's see. I've got five bids on uh, section uh, 12, 157.7 acres from Mr. McManus, from Mr. Gatwood. So, here are representing. Thank you. Marlin LLC. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Ashley and uh, Mr. Johnson. So we'll get started with Mr. McManus's view. Minus bids twenty-two dollars fifty-one cents for one hundred fifty-seven acres for a total of three thousand five hundred fifty dollars. Again, the uh, certified check is in proper form and pay payable to the school district. That would. Mr. 
Mr. Gatwood submitted an official check of uh, $25.52, $25.52 $25 per acre for a, a total of $4,025.76 in annual rent. Check is prop form. <coughs> This is the bid of Marlin LLC. Uh, Mr. Mar I'm sorry, Marlin uh, bids sixty-three dollars forty-two cents for the one hundred and fifty-seven point seven acres for a total annual. Uh, Payment of ten thousand dollars. The uh, check is in proper form. We have the bid of Mr. William Ashley. Mr. Ashley is the current lessee. Ashley bids uh, $20.20 20 for 157 point seven acres for annual rent of $3,185.54. This check is proper form, proper amount. Mr. Johnson, or somebody here representing him? Mr. Mr. Johnson, his address is Hesramer, Louisiana, bids $35 per acre for 157 acres for a total annual rent of $5,519.50. Check is in proper form and proper amount. All right, so can you kind of give me those, can you give me the order of highest to lowest? Marlin is about 10,000. Yeah. So the first 
question would be to Mr. Ashley as the uh, current lessee. Do you want to match the bid of Marlene? Sure. Okay. So that is. He's going to increase his to an annual rent of $10,000, which is $63.42 per acre. $63.42. Now, let me ask the court to just make sure I understand. I think I do. You're saying even when there's more than two bidders, the person who is the DC <coughs> still has the option has of the, matching the high bid. That's right. right. And then if, if the board decides to call or conduct uh, an auction and uh, they are participants, the, the auction starts at the $63.42 per acre. Okay. Okay. So uh, it would next be the question uh, with, the, uh, with the folks here, uh, does the board want to take action to, to have us conduct an auction here and now? Look <laughs> for some counsel in here. Well, uh, the, the reason it's in the statute is if you have enough interest, uh, three of these bidders, obviously Mr. Johnson's not here. So he, he wouldn't be able to participate in uh, an auction. Bidding. But with these number of bidders, if there are three or more who want to bid, then your effort is to get the per acre price up beyond sixty-three dollars and forty-two cents. So, are there? I'm out. Mr. McManus is out. So, the remaining three, uh, are you interested in conducting uh, an auction? No. I thought the high, the, the, uh, I thought I had the right to match the high bidder. I got to go for an auction. I don't understand that. Well, it's in the statute, and the board has the right to call for it. But um, at this point, um, it does not. What it, Marlene, even if Marlene says they do want it, uh, I don't think we have enough to conduct an auction. It'd be only two bidders. Am I getting that straight? Yes, sir. All right. So, so there were three of you all didn't want to participate in the house. We right. would. We don't. I don't. Marlene would. Yeah. Just Marlene. 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 Yeah. Okay. You the highest. You are the highest bidder now. Right. Well, Mr. Ashley, Ashley. Is, he's the matching bidder. Oh, okay. Because you cannot have an option between just two. That's correct. And, and, has to be and Mr. Johnson has to be present, right? Yeah. Yeah. Right. He's not, he's yeah. Uh -huh. I'm a friend of his, but I'm not. You're not representing No. Okay. So, so uh, I mean, we certainly can consider his bid, but to participate in the auction, he has, he has to, to be here. Yeah. Well, the law is clear that we have to take the leases. Yeah, he's and matched. That, this is the highest and best bid. Right. Yeah. I move that we do so. Second. Mr. Moore, 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 Three people have to be enlightened to participate in the auction, or just three bidders been present? Three, three bidders who submitted a bid who are willing to participate. They have to be willing to, yeah, it's not over three bidders, period, no. initially. No. Okay, I just, I just would want to clear that up. If, if, if there are three or more, right. then, then it can be done that way. We would have preferred that. <laughs> 
this is from uh, Dr. Kristen, Kristen Turney, T-U-R-N-E-Y, for Instructional Support Services, Principal Coach. Solution Instructional Support Service.
planning, higher heights, and structural support. How many people have to go through all that stuff? I'll call them about a team of five. Okay. Renaissance, instructional material. All of these the same thing? Hmm? All of these the same thing? Mm -hmm. Try to get that money. Mm -hmm. Try to get that money. They know that money. Yeah. So they're digging you up for this? I Okay. 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 Okay
That's all. That's all. That's all we is recommended unless we have questions. The superintendent's recommendation is that we award the positive degree. Mm -hmm. Let's go to 23, 20, 25 or 27. I'm all right. Okay. Well, then we'll prove it in one second. Second. This is their proposal for the 2025 to 2027 financial audits. Um, according to state law, we can only have the same firm audit us for three years in a row. Then there's a required mandatory rotation. Solid Simmons just completed when it's still in review. It's not filed yet. But, um, the last year of that audit, of their rotation was 2022. The state auditor is still reviewing and approving that right now. But starting with 23 hours, we've got to find a new firm. And as we all know and heard earlier, that um, this, there's, a, there's a shortage of resources out there. The firm that, um, that the business office superintendent is recommending that we go with is called Novum Advisory PLLC. They are, on a report, they are on the approved state listing. What the state auditor is supposed to do it, but they're contracting it out to various firms because they don't have manpower to get everybody. And so they have a list of approved CPA firms to do the audits for all of the municipalities and school districts. And this Novum Advisory firm is actually includes many CPAs from the state auditor's office. So their proposal <coughs> is included. I can tell you that their rates are good. And we definitely recommend that we... Um, Where are they located? They are in St. Louis. Madison. Madison, okay. Yep, yep. Madison is yeah. Madison. 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 They move and set all in favor. Aye. All right, pass the 5 0 8.9. 8.9. Yes, this is the approval of the accounting system services agreement. We've been working with Integrity Software and Time Trust since 2018. There have been some changes out there in the NASCA standards, accounting standards, when it deals with software leases. And so, as a part of that, our current software provider is now requiring their clients to have three-year contracts. And so this contract, this agreement is in front of you, it's included, and it's definitely recommended that we accept them as our, accept the agreement as our financial accounting software. And so, you say it's a three-year contract? It's gonna be three, yeah. It's the first time that they made this this type of move, so yes. It's been year to year up until the change of the <coughs> so they, Better for them to do it. That's how they, that's right. So they're saying, hey, we're proposing to do a three year agreement. It's due at the end of this month. So we already have employed them. Yes, we use them. Yes, sir. It's just been a year to so year so far. It's a year to change, but now they have to have three. Yeah. Now they're saying we're gonna, we want you to do three years. And Is the fee the relatively the same? Well, um, it goes, it went up a little bit this year. It went up about 6%. It went up about 6% over. Over last year, but they say in their agreement, if they up the price like that, on they got a right to increase it every year. If they up it, then we will have an out if we choose to. That's how we out this we have a penalty is. of five thousand dollars. It does say. <laughs> it just says, you know, you have that. You, oh no, no, it says. I'm sorry, they're right. I don't want to say no more. You can you can opt out without penalty. Okay. If, if they, they go up, if they if go up, we want to just get out. Get out. Then, 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 then it's a penalty. Yeah. If we go out, if we just want to get out, yes. But so uh, second. Okay. You move the second all in favor. Uh -huh. uh, thank you, Mr. Bird. Eight point ten. Eight point ten is right. For approval of the use of facilities, 
Um, let me say that for this first request, um, it is dated for June 18th, but the camp was not held. And we have not received a return from um, that representative. We didn't make the call. Um, so I need to follow up with that, with that organization to see if they are requesting a different date or they're just requesting, you know, opting not to host the this match. The second request is for the high school dance team to use the Lexus Middle School Gym for um, a fundraising activity. So it's a recommendation that the board approves the, approve these reports. Is it our dance team? Yes, it is. Second. <coughs> so moved. Second. We move the second on the page. I say it's five zero eight point eleven. Eight point eleven. <laughs> this is the the board is the recommendation that the board approves the twenty that the board approves the 2024-2025 soccer, volleyball, junior high football, and basketball schedules. Okay. So <laughs> Then move and seven all in favor? Uh -huh. All right. All right, pass it. Five, zero, eight, point, twelve. Eight point twelve is a recommendation that the board approve uh, for us to continue uh, to use the services of a live grant writing and grant management services for the 24-25 school. Is that Ms. Campbell? Yes, sir. Is that for a year? Yes, sir. It is. Has she been bringing in? Yes, ma'am. <coughs> I know, those grants are hers. Yes. Okay. Second. Second. It's been moving second all in favor. Aye. 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 is um, the request for the board to accept. Recommendation for the board to approve the grant agreement and the acceptance of funds from the Laura Bush grant in the amount of $5,000 to be used at Natchez High School uh, for library resources. So moved. Second. We move and second. All in favor? Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. 8.13. 8.13 is the recommendation of approval of the request to add job restriction for behavior specialists. Um, the behavior specialist is going to be in contact with about 35 students retarding children with autism um, to teach them behavior, intervention, coping skills, and things of that area because we do not have the support of an ADA therapist in the area. So we're going to try to start small and try to build to meet those demands. So moved. Second. We move and second. All in favor. Okay, eight point fifteen. Ms. Bullock. Eight point fifteen is a recommendation that the board approve uh, for Cathedral uh, there uh, uh, to enter into an agreement with S it S L C for school improvement and student achievement uh, support. So, so. And remember that we are a flow through agency for uh, federal funds for this particular school. I'm so moved. Okay. Second. Moving second, all in favor? Uh -huh. There's a five zero eight point sixteen. Mr. James, member of the board, we're asking for um, approval of the memorandum of understanding between the National Alpha School District. Uh, Natchez High School and King Daughters Medical Center for an Athletic Trainer and uh, Marketing. King Daughters Medical Center uh, has provided an athletic trainer and marketing proposal for uh, Natchez High School. And, uh, they will provide an athletic trainer to uh, cover <coughs> our student athletes uh, during the game. Um, they will have the right to um, advertise and, pay, and play signage um, at our sports uh, venues. Uh, so it is the recommendation of the superintendent that the board approve the uh, memorandum of understanding between uh, Natchez Adams School District and uh, King Daughters Medical Center for Athletic Training and Marketing. We had them for a number of years at all corners, and they were great. They provided trainers that we needed uh, away in, in home, so, uh, so moved. And actually, they are um, employed. The athletic trainers who we have had for seven years. So they're just moving to another organization. 
Second. Yeah, moved and second. All in favor? Yeah. All right. Uh, so that's a 5-0. Thanks. 8.17. Eight point seventeen is for discussion uh, and to, for the board to give any direction as to uh, their wishes for the next step of this project. Uh, as you are aware, we have finally received approval from the uh, Mississippi Department of Education, Department of Federal Programs, to proceed with um, our performing arts facility. Okay. I have seven. Well, I have seven. Wait. Now we're just going to uh, add no. to and clarify, but not clarify, give information. Mr. James and myself, and of course, Ms. McDonald Green, have been working on this diligently. Okay. And uh, we are glad to see that it's been approved by the state. And hopefully, uh, this will be something that we, uh, once we have uh, help make it happen, it will be something that can be, be a benefit to the community and to the kids over the long term. It's going to take a while, but we had to work real hard to get this approved. So uh, I want, want to thank uh, Xandra and of course Brother James. We've been working behind you without you all knowing. We know. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we know. But, but it's something I think all of us agree could be real beneficial for the children in this community, both the children. And let's are, reiterate that that's been a goal of this board for a number of years. For a number of years. Bella Newsom was part of that drive to, to have a performing arts center. center and area. And I think that well, we're all aware that what I'm going to say is I think when we first started talking about it, it was about new equipment, right? Like band equipment or whatever. Uh, band, the, the musical instruments were a part of our application, if I'm not mistaken, for F2. Right. So, were any purchased? Yes, ma'am. Okay, the reason I'm asking is because I got to see a drum. And actually, I didn't know the drum had plastic on the top part of it. But, and, and, this equipment is real old that I saw. It, the, the, the inside is torn, but then it's a whole lot of other different kind of tapes on it. So I was wondering when we do this School of the Arts, was there going to be new equipment in so there in like our, for the band and stuff? In our allocation, the board uh, ensured that there was money allocated for the purchase of instruments. Okay. Now we do drums. I'm not the drum person. Okay. But on a piano organ, I can have mm -hmm. drums. But I know that drum heads burst regularly and have to be okay. replaced. Okay. And so that's just a, a just a maintenance yeah, issue that we have to do. And, and, okay. and then, and then with guess. some drums do to get the tone that they want, mm -hmm. they put tape on the drums. Mm -hmm. They do what? Yeah, put tape on the drums in order to get a certain sound. Oh, okay. I, 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 well, I we, we also, we've already made it. And so uh, we will be aware that we thought we need some I mean, and I know, and I, the board is aware too, that the music and the string orchestra has already had a concert at the Little Theater. Um, those were our instruments that we provided for them. Correct. Mm -hmm. That's correct, and we. Uh, so we're moving in that direction, is what I'm saying. We need we need more place for that. We we short the new school, the new high school needed a, when we built it. It needed more places that we did couldn't afford. Is that correct, Tony? That's correct. And so that is why we want to move towards Steckler, right? Because right. so yeah. we're we're currently yeah. using Steckler yeah. for. Music for band yeah, and right. so forth. So mm -hmm. this this uh, approval is going to allow us to make certain that the construction is uh, going to support more spacing more to space. mitigate the spread of the the, black, the pen the virus because that's what our ESSA funds are uh, supposed right. to do. The purpose of those funds. And so to your question regarding instruments, mm -hmm. Mr. Fields and I have met with. Uh, Mr. Ford and Mr. Hill um, okay. and Mr. McAllister about their plans to expand performing arts okay. and we know that they've done an awesome job so far and so within the, probably within the next month 
we will bring a proposal to you for additional uh, instruments okay. in order because the goal that's, is that's to start what, our children early. Yeah, that's and what my let was. Let me uh, add too because it's in addition to the step of building that we that we we've been approved, we've already asked for uh, some work at Robert Lewis. We do not know if in fact all of it's going to be approved, but we do have those funds uh, available to us that the state did approve us utilizing some of our ESSA funds. Mm -hmm. But I want, just wanted to make sure everybody understand. So it's kind of a, 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 a floating kind of thing. It's not, we don't know exactly what everything is, but we have been working with the architect too. And, we, and, and of course, I guess we need to have a motion to instruct the board attorney to come up to work out a contract with the architect, because that's normally what we need to do, uh, which would be 3A. Three, three yeah. uh, he's been working with us for the last couple of months and helping us to develop uh, this thought that we've been pursuing. So we need to, because we have a September deadline, as we've all, all of us are aware, we have a September deadline mm -hmm. uh, uh, as far as getting a commitment of these funds. Right. Okay. Right. Uh, and, and so we need to move as speedily as possible in order to make sure that we don't lose out in, on this five or six or seven million dollars, whatever we may have, in order to put a, a, uh, to develop <coughs> step into a first class facility, even though it'll be smaller and all that kind of thing. But at least in its right, right. Uh, in, in the area by, <coughs> school, by all of the other kinds of things, by both schools and what have you. So it's going to be something good that I think and all of us think that can be helpful for our community for years to come. So I'd like to offer a motion that we would have the board attorney in conjunction with our superintendent uh, to uh, develop a contract, negotiate with, with uh, 3A in order to, to, to move forward uh, on this particular project. Okay. Let me, let me say this, and I know uh, this may not be, I want, want you all to know that Representative Angela Cockerham mm -hmm. helped us a lot with what we get in this approval. Yeah. And I know I probably shouldn't say that publicly at this particular point, but she did, okay? Uh -huh. uh, so I've been mean, giving credit where credit is due. You know. and so I don't, I don't know if, if we didn't have her support or what the thing she did, whether it would have been approved. Right. Because we had made this request some time ago. But uh, yeah. and hopefully, and Xandra, well, I won't get into the other things that uh -huh. weren't approved. Because uh -huh. we haven't given up on them yet. That was Xandra. No, <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. We're going to keep our pedal to the middle. Yeah, okay. To the middle. Now we're at nine, on nine, review of the nine one that's a uh, fear. Okay. Uh, Mr. James, members of the board, uh, you just have um, in your uh, packet or in your binder uh, the 24-25 student handbook and the suicide prevention intervention handbook just for your review uh, for action at the next meeting. We would like to thank our counselors, uh, a team of guidance counselors who have reviewed that suicide prevention and intervention handbook and have updated based upon uh, information that they received from their national uh, organization. So we appreciate their efforts and Ms. Monica King who, has, who led that. Okay. 9.2. Yeah, Ms. Butler is, I think, maybe gone. Uh, in your board binder, uh, is the updated uh, information on our ESSA 3 um, grant funding, as Mr. Wesley said, grant funding in September 30th. And so Ms. Butler and that team have been working along with our administrators uh, to make certain that those priorities that the board has established, that those priorities are met prior to that deadline. Yeah, I apologize because Ms. Butler has been working with Xander for the, this, the, the, in this entire yeah, to get additional information to Jackson and so forth and so on, and they worked overtime. Okay, absolutely. Mm -hmm. So we we thank Ms. Butler, Ms. Anderson, and Ms. Jackson Anderson. 
But they're diligent workers, because I assure you, it has been a, a tax. Oh, I know. It's been a tax. All right. And board calendar. Is anything on that needs to be added or taken off, we give it to the secretary and let them know. 9.4. Mm -hmm. Mr. James, I have no updates. Oh, oh sorry. Sorry. Oh, Nine point five. <laughs> 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 Dr. Robert. Well, you didn't give her a chance to think about it. <laughs> 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 I would like to reiterate for every time. Please stay safe. I know you all for the holiday. I mean for the summer. Stay safe because the degrees are hundred degrees or more. Right. Also, so many people that I know is coming down with COVID. COVID is not gone. So stay safe in that area too. Thank you. No, sir. No, no comment. Go on vacation. <laughs> They're on vacation. Oh. <laughs> 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 Um, I'm going to close the termination. Sir. The movement's got me to close the termination. All in favor? Okay. We're going to close the termination.